Hey, AD. Come on in. Welcome and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to give you guys the official home tour, so let's get started. Come on in. Tight quarters. This is actually somewhat decently sized for a Paris elevator. Wait, if you haven't checked out the apartment hunting tour video, make sure to go watch that first and then come back here before we go into the apartment. Also, if you've missed all of my videos, I'm Megan Jacquier, a life coach living in Paris with my family. We're gonna go see how we live inside. Come on in. Crazy girl. So like most places, we enter in the foyer. And given that this is an apartment, we really only have the one hallway. And so we needed it to pack in a lot of storage and uses. We were really lucky in that this apartment came with this huge double closet. And we have so much tucked away back behind those doors. We also added this console table behind us just for even more storage. And also just a place to put things because you'll notice as you walk in, there's doors everywhere into all the other rooms, and so there's no place to put things. We added a little marble tray on top of a radiator, actually, just to have any place to put things as you first walk in. Um, but yeah, we really love this room, and we particularly love how wide the room is. You get a good amount of space, and you don't feel cramped in, which is one of the hardest things in apartments. We're gonna start the grand tour right here in the kitchen off the entry hallway. All right, we got really lucky with this kitchen in that it was completely modernized and updated, but it was also just a totally blank white box when we moved in. In addition to that, it's really common in Europe to not get your appliances as part of your rental, so we had to buy all the individual appliances and I just decided to lean into the white so they kind of blended into the background and added pops of color more with our cookbooks and the pink KitchenAid and my chakra light pendant, all these little things to add a little bit of color. Um, we really love this kitchen. It works super well for us and we feel really lucky again that it's a little bit wider than you'd normally see in a galley kitchen, which is super helpful when our dog Lucy is like eating and we need to walk through the kitchen because she a big girl and it's hard to get around her sometimes. But yeah, we really uh, made the space our own and still were able to keep it kind of picked up and tidy, which is so important in a kitchen. I personally hate when there's a bunch of clutter on the countertops and there already is probably more than I would like, but you know, needs must in a, an apartment kitchen. All right, so here we have what they call a double séjour. Basically, it's the living room and the dining room right next to each other. And this dining room is actually right across from the kitchen that we were just in, which is super convenient when you're bringing things back and forth. Um, we love this space because it is so big. This table right now is seating eight. It expands even more. We could have a ton of people come sit here, probably more people than we even know in Paris at this point, but it's so nice because once again, you're not cramped in an apartment and coming from a much bigger home, that was really important to us that it still felt really light and airy. Um, and also given that we have two young children and a dog always running around, you need a little bit more space in your room. It's also set up big enough for us to also have the piano here. We have this gorgeous original fireplace. It's non-functioning, but we added the gold mirror back above it that would have originally been there that was taken down. We really wanted to add in our personal modern touches throughout the apartment, but also honor the history of the building and Paris and all of that beautiful charm that comes with it. So our apartment building is probably about 100 years old at this point, and we wanted it to still have moments that felt like that, that you could connect to the past, but still very much 
our style in right now because we are not <laughs> we are not antique people. Another thing that was really important to us was this bonsai tree. It's a sentimental piece for my husband. He grew up with his grandma always having a bonsai tree and he always wanted one himself. And we were able to find this by a local creator here in Paris and it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and it uh, saves us a lot of money buying flowers as a centerpiece because it in and of itself is stunning and can be a, a centerpiece. Here we are in the living room part of the double séjour. We really love this space, particularly the bay windows. When we first saw this space, we thought were just gorgeous. And it's nice because they actually add a little bit of extra square footage to the room as well. Um, our favorite thing in this room, and actually my kids have said it's their favorite thing since we've moved, is this blue chair that we got that actually swivels around back and forth. Um, we wanted to utilize the bay window and utilize that space, but not block off the view to the city street outside and the light and the trees. This room is very much like you'll see a lot of the rest of the house still a work in progress. You know that the bookcase is half empty. Um, that's because we really believe in not buying placeholder items. We moved here with just eight suitcases and 12 boxes and then we had to fill a whole apartment and we didn't have everything that we needed. So we are very slowly still filling things in, buying pieces that have patina and life. We didn't want to just buy everything straight new and fresh from the store. So we've been going to Volcans or flea markets and trying to find those pieces that have a little bit more life to them um, that make it feel special. Another really special thing that we have in this room is our map wall here around the TV. This map wall actually started with my um, husband's apartment when he was still single. When we were dating, I noticed that he had a couple of maps on the wall. And when I moved in, we reorganized a couple of things. And one thing I did was make a gallery wall of all the different maps. Since then, we've added to it and it just represents all the places that we've lived that have had an impact on us and that are important to us. So we really love this wall and hopefully we won't be adding to it anytime soon and we'll stay here in Paris for a while. Now we're in our bedroom. It probably looks a little bit like a white box depending on the angle that you get, but that was actually very intentional. You'll notice a lot of times my design style is more high contrast and lots of colors. I wanted our bedroom to be very peaceful. I was really concerned moving into a, sol a smaller space that we wouldn't have anywhere that felt like just ours. Uh, before we had a two-story home, like 3,700 square feet, and we could like tuck the kids away in their room and like be far from them. There's no such thing as being far from your kids <laughs> when you're in an apartment. And so I wanted a space that still felt very intentionally ours while knowing that it would realistically still probably end up being a family space. And it is, our kids crawl into this giant bed with us every single morning, but luckily there's a room, there's room enough for all four of us to lay in a row um, and snuggle up, which is honestly my favorite part of the morning. Also, we got really lucky with this room because it has another double wardrobe. It's super unusual, just like appliances in Europe, to have any closets when you move into a place. So we got lucky because this place had the one in the hallway, this one in the bedroom, and then there's also one in the boys' bedroom as well. So that helped us a ton getting in and getting settled more quickly since there wasn't a ton of things. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this room is this desk right here is actually just a little wall desk. We weren't sure when we moved in how much we'd be working from home and what our whole situation would be like, but we are slowly figuring it out and it's been really nice to be able to have a desk in here that doesn't feel like a desk because again, this was meant to be like our very tranquil, zen, personal space and I didn't want it to feel like here's our beautiful peaceful bedroom and a big desk in the corner and this one does the trick. It's beautiful to look at. It looks like art on the wall but then it folds down into this very work-friendly desk. Now we are in our boys bedroom. This room is big. It is probably just as big, if not bigger, actually, than the master bedroom. 
and which is great because we have them sharing. We have all their toys in here. Once again, we have another closet, which actually they barely use and my husband's clothes are kept in here. So this room has a lot of purpose, a lot of play that happens right here in this space. And so it's nice that it's so big. Um, we didn't want it to also just feel like a plain white box, even though I didn't want the contrast of the furniture to be too much of what draws the eye. So you'll see I have a ton of color in here. We added these really fun watercolor stickers that I got off Etsy. I'll link them below if you're interested. Um, they're like my son's favorite thing every night when he goes to bed and I ask him what was one of his favorite things about the day. He makes a list and he always lists these sticker dots. Um, I think they help draw the eye up in a room where we wanted the furniture to still be very low to the ground. My children are four and two, so they didn't need these like big, tall things. We wanted it to feel more appropriate to their scale, but we didn't also just want the second half of the room to just be abandoned. I really love these curved walls that they have in here, and I did some unique art on it. These are just like some family pictures and some pictures that they had in their old playroom, as well as some sentimental art about like our family's journey from Utah to New York, back to Utah, and now on to Paris. We also have their name signs that one of their aunts knit for them. Their bedding is um, all handmade by my mom. So we really have quite a few little sentimental pieces in here. But yeah, it's a great space. Um, and probably one of my favorite aspects of this room, love, hate, if you will, is this huge white toy storage that we have. It holds everything, which is great, but it gets a little messy. I would prefer it all behind closed doors, but it's really helpful actually to have it open for my kids to be able to see where everything is, get out what they want, and they both now have become a lot better at actually being able to put things back right in the spot that they're supposed to go. This is the third bedroom. We initially were going to use this as the boys' playroom because you'll notice there's a door that kind of goes between these two rooms, so we thought that'd be super useful. But as we realized how much we'd actually be working from home and also we had like 10 visitors in the first two months, we realized we needed a dedicated guest room and home office. So that's what this room became. And because it kind of switched purposes later than the rest of them, it's still a little bit behind everything else in getting its design up. So you'll notice we have these shelves, but we don't have much on them. I wanna get some local art from down by the riverbank to display over here. There's always a home project, right? That's just how it works. We really love this space. Gabriel uses this space more as his office than I do. We also get great use out of this when there's a guest. In fact, part of why I'm filming this video is today because we had a guest till yesterday. So we often use this space for guests and this couch folds out really nicely for that. We really love uh, that we were able to find a place that had a third bedroom and that we have this space because we use it all the time. If you have ever lived in an apartment, you know. You end up using every space, every inch that you have very intentionally and this room, again, serving a dual purpose is excellent for us. All right, YouTube, now you guys have seen it all. It's time for you to go. I'm sure the space will change over time. Maybe I'll do another tour again at some point in the future, but honestly, <laughs> having to clean up after two toddlers made this a difficult video to film. So don't expect another home tour anytime soon. Anyway, it's been great having you. I hope you love seeing inside my home. Um, comment below with what you like most and make sure to like and subscribe for all my future videos. Bye. Thank you.